Let's tee up today's product overview with a little bit of a scenario. Have you ever been in the situation, or maybe thought about the situation, of wanting to walk into a conference room that is maybe already outfitted with, let's say, a Microsoft Teams room, like the Logitech Rally Plus sitting right here behind me? But you have your laptop and you've got a third party meeting that you want to join using all the equipment in the room. You would like to bypass the Teams room side of it and use the camera, the speakers, the microphones, the display for your third party meeting, GoToMeeting, Google Meet, whatever. You want to be able to walk into that room, take a single cable, connect it into your laptop and boom, you've got all these peripherals being used in your third party meeting. That is the scenario that the Logitech Switch addresses and that is the product we'll be taking a look at today. In this video, we'll be taking a look at what comes in the box, taking out all those parts and components, uh, looking at what the cabling looks like. Uh, we are doing this on a Logitech Rally Plus system. It can be used with other systems. It is supported with the other Logitech room setups. And then we'll take a look at what the switch looks like as we see already set up sitting on the table to walk into it, connect it up and take over the room and then return the room back to its normal state in the scenario I just described. Let's dig in. Before we unbox this thing, I really want to take a quick look at what the component is that your average user is going to come in contact with. We have the little Y-shaped connector sitting right here with the Logi branding on it, all right? Now you can see this is connected with a cable. You can adjust the length that shows on the table and it stays snugly in place via a magnet. You've got this little bulge at the back of the Y shape here, a little indention up top, and that is a magnetic connection, keeping this secured right in the middle of the table so that things stay looking tidy and in their place at the table. The user interaction is fairly straightforward and simple. Not fairly, it's actually really straightforward and simple. You've either got a USB-C connection that they can use right here, or the USB-A connection. Given that USB-C can be used to power your device, if you have one of those long running marathon meetings where you want to bring your laptop in and maybe didn't want to mess with another cord connection, having to plug in power, you can just power through the USB-C connection right here. All right, cracking the lid on the switch container. We've got a box that sits right at the top here. Opening that up, we've got a handful of cables. First, we've got this HDMI cable right up top. We've got a shorter length USB-A to USB-C cable in this plastic right here. This next one is also a USB-A to USB-C cable. It is, if I recall right, five meter cable here. And then right here is wrapped in the styrofoam uh, protective covering itself, the switch cable that your end users will use on the conference room table. And this end has connections that will go into the hub underneath the table. Moving our cables out of the way, got all your documentation in here and your safety stuff. And then we've got the setup guide sitting right on top. Getting past our install guide, we've got the switch hub here and we'll take a look at the various components that uh, come in and out of this. The switch extender, this is what will again be mounted underneath of the table. Uh, with all the cable connections coming into it from the switch itself and going back to our switch hub. We've got mounting screws that we're sitting in these little pockets right here. Getting a bit deeper, we come down to our power cords. So power cables, uh, they are labeled appropriately for the switch extender and the switch hub. We've got a little adhesive backed um, plastic component that again has that indention. Let me take it out of the plastic just for ease of viewing. Like the uh, spot on the table, if we wanted this to be maybe mounted or, or accessible on a wall or some other surface, we can use this component here to take this back off. It's got adhesive and we'd stick it on a surface and the switch itself would hang off of that. A mounting bracket. This is that component we were just looking at that sits at the top of the table, kind of capping off your connections underneath. Various power supply connections. And then this is our plastic rig for actually going underneath or, or through the table, I should say. This piece will um, be, you'll drill the hole in the table for that width right there. I believe there is an exact width that is uh, given to us in the setup guide. And these components will just screw off, allowing you to 
put them underneath while well, this part sits above the table, holding it in place. And then the little cap with the magnetic top will sit right on here. Your cables will come through the middle and out this opening at the front. Okay, so we have a couple things that I wanna cover per the setup guide before we actually get into looking at the components. First, you need to understand your room topology. You're gonna to notice that this setup guide only covers Logitech products because that is where the support will actually be given. You will be supported when using the Logitech switch with the proper Logitech room systems. I'll leave that statement right there. Coming over here, we've got our first connection overview. This is assuming we have a meetup in the room, all right, and not the rally system. For our setup today, we do have the rally system and we'll be going over that. For the meetup, what I wanna point out here, and we're gonna build on this with the Rally Plus system set up in a second, the switch hub sits between all of your peripherals, in this case, your display in the meetup, and the PC. The switch extender connects into your switch hub, so you would put your laptop here, connect the switch, that connection comes back to the switch hub, and the switch hub essentially cuts off the PC, which is your room system platform, and takes over the display, your camera, your microphone, and your speakers. Turning the page, we see a very similar thing with the Rally setup. A little more complex because the Rally has more pieces and parts. We've got our display hub and our table hub. Our mics on the table come into that table hub. The table hub connects back to the display hub. Our display hub actually is where the rally camera and our speakers and our uh, display are not the display in this case but the speakers and the camera they're plugged into the display hub and then the, the display hub comes back to the switch hub which is where the display comes to instead of going directly over to the pc like normal so again the switch hub is sitting between the pc and all of our peripherals and just like in the previous example switch hub comes back to switch extender switch on the top of the table for you to connect to. Taking a look at the switch hub, it is labeled so that you know which is which and you can uh, take the labeling off if you need to once you're ready to store it for aesthetics. But taking a look at the front of this device, you can see we got power, HDMI for the TV, your USB-A for AV, HDMI for the PC, and then a USB-C for PC and USB-C external. On the very bottom, We've got these rubber grips here to keep it from sliding around. Once again, labeling to save the day, the switch extender. This is what sits at the very center of the table, uh, underneath the table so that your connections come in and it's held in place with the, uh, the fasteners on that center of table plastic component that holds the switch and cabling. We've got a uh, little screw right here to open and close. This is where, of course, our cables will come in and out of. This is actually in the wrong position. When we are mounting it, we will flip it upside down. We've again got the rubber pieces right here to keep it held firmly in place under the table so that it's not like sliding in different directions. It'll be held firmly in place. And then as we pop this open, let me get a closer look in here. Uh, on this side, this is where our switch is going to plug into. It's got a rather unique cable with both these connections coming out of that cable and they connect right in here. Then you can see we've got our USB-A connection going back to the switch hub and our power. Now, while we have our finished product sitting on the table in the background, you can see how much cable I've left myself on the table because I didn't need a lot for this workspace. If you're in a table that's a little bit bigger with the switch a little further away from where the laptop is, I want to point out that the cable uh, is actually quite a bit longer and you can give yourself a little more slack if you need to when installing this. So step one before we start plugging in cables and all that is we wanna get this teed up and put into the table uh, so that it's, it's in place. We don't have to worry about running any cables through the table before we start plugging anything in. So we wanna go ahead and remove these uh, clamps, unscrew them from the center of table plastic piece. There is a little bit of plastic protective film to remove from the underside there. Got that out. And then coming in closer, you can see we've got these ridges right in the center that we can run the cable through. But this is going to end up coming out through this top slot here with the cap sitting over top of it. We'll take the cable, kind of tuck it on into this hole right here, 
it will sit coming out the uh, the top there, just like so. And we're gonna end up putting our cap on here a little bit later on. With it like this though, we can now take the cable, slide it through the hole in the table, and slide that down to where it's sitting nice and flush. Once it has slid into the table, you're gonna take the switch extender. You will slide the cables from the switch through that middle piece, and this will go right here. Now you envision that we are looking at this as if it was in the table. The table would be sitting right here. Okay, we got a gap in there. And with that gap in place, we get our fasteners back on there. We put each of these through the, uh, we put each of these over the cables that are coming out from the switch itself. Slide them on down. I'm just gonna screw it to a certain point. We'll, we'll just pretend like there's a table sitting in there. Like I said, we'll take a look at the finished product on this table that we're working on after the fact. So now we've got our switch coming through the table, through this plastic piece, one inch hole drilled, the extender sitting underneath the table, not moving anywhere because of these grips and it's held in place by the uh, by the ink, uh, the um, fasteners down here as well. Wow, that word really hid for me for a minute there. Okay, I'm gonna show you the finished product all set up in the table in a second, uh, but just so that you can envision this, I want you to see what the setup looks like minus the table in the middle. We take the switch cable that we ran through all those devices and ran through the table, and that gets plugged into these two ports on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side of our switch extender, we've got our USB-A that is gonna go back uh, to the switch hub plugged in here, and finally power plugged in there. With all our cables in place, we can put our cable management uh, plastic hinge here into place, screw that in with this little tiny screw here, and that will keep the cables neatly tucked where they need to be with the device mounted firmly under your conference table and the switch coming out the top. Now, after tucking the cable into the, uh, the plastic bar that goes down through the table like we just did, it sits flush at the top of the table, the cabling going down through the middle and then coming out that front entry point. And here you see we have capped it off with that black magnetic cap that sits up top. And now the switch itself can just be brought over set at the center and that magnet holds it in place. Underneath the table, you'll see nothing fancy here. We've got the switch extender placed right over that center uh, plastic bar that comes down and keeps our cable in place. It is being held on by these fasteners. The switch cable itself comes out the bottom and wraps around. You don't see it, it's kind of out of frame, but the cable is wrapping back around and coming into the switch extender itself. So it plugs into this and then on the left-hand side, and then over here on the right-hand side, this is where the power cable is, as well as our connection back to the switch hub. Now, we just saw where we plugged in the USB-A cable into the switch extender underneath the conference room table. The other side is USB-C, and you see USB-C EXT for extender over here. I think I might have said external earlier, but it's extender. And we plug that in there. The rest of these, obviously, we've got our USB-C going back to the PC, the HDMI going back to the PC. This could be an Intel Nook or whatever your PC is that you're using. And then we've got our USB-A here for audio video and HDMI from the TV itself coming in um, if this is a meetup setup. Uh, if it's the Rally Plus setup, which we have, that'll be plugged into the Display Hub. Pardon the graininess of this shot. I just wanted to show very quickly while uh, zooming in and getting all the rest of the rat's nest of cables out of the shot here, how all the cables look plugged into the switch hub as they sit underneath the front of room table. So this would all be tucked away. You wouldn't see any of this ideally. It'd be plugged into the cupboard at the front of the room or a credenza. And you've got all the cables coming in from uh, your switch extender, the USB-C, We've got the other two cables going off to the PC. We've got our HDMI in play here and power as well. So uh, that's the switch hub 
uh, as it intercepts our peripherals from the PC itself. With the Logitech switch integrated into our Rally Plus setup, we now want to take a look at what it's like to actually walk up to the switch with a laptop sitting there and plug in. We've got a USB-C connection here, USB port on the laptop. When you plug it in, you get that light up right in the center of the device showing that it is plugged in, the devices are engaged, and you are now taking over the peripherals in the room. So we've come full circle. We're back to our original scenario. I've got a MacBook Pro with me. I have walked into the conference room. There is a Rally Plus system here, and we have configured and installed a Logitech switch at the center of our conference table. So now I can come in with my Google Meet meeting ready to go, and I can actually leverage the devices in this Microsoft Teams room system, bypassing the Microsoft Teams software. We take the Logitech switch, and we have a couple different USB ports on the side here with our uh, USB-C. So we'll use the USB-C connection. I wanna point out that if you're on a MacBook Pro or a Mac in general, you will need to install the DisplayLink drivers if they are not already installed. This will be done for you in Windows automatically, should be, um, but on the MacBook, you might need to install them for a switch to work properly. Once they are installed and ready to go, we'll just connect the uh, switch, you see a little light in the center showing it's in use. Our room is being taken over, the peripherals. We see our uh, different microphones flashing. The display is now part of the laptop display. And then we've got the, uh, the tap on this side. Nothing happens with the tap in this scenario. The switch kind of ignores the tap. Nothing you do over here will impact the equipment. Uh, once you return, once you disconnect the switch and return the device back to its normal room system state, the tap is back in play. Let's go ahead and go to our meeting. And we will say rejoin this meeting. And our camera pops up and we say join now. And there we go. We are in the meeting. If uh, I scoot this over, uh, hopefully you can see this on the screen. We might just have to zoom in a little bit for it here, but if we pull up the camera's uh, uh, controls here, we can make the camera move around side to side. Uh, we can zoom in, we can recenter back on home. Uh, we can go ahead and tap the uh, mute buttons here so that our microphones are not working. Um, we can unmute the microphones but this would be how we take over our display, our camera, our microphones, and our speakers using the Logitech switch and a third party meeting that is not compatible with the room system that you are in the conference room of. Once we are done, we simply disconnect, put it back in its little magnet. The room gets returned back to its normal state. The Teams app goes through a little bit of what it needs to do to get the right screens back up and the tap is back to its normal self over here. If there were meetings, they would be there ready to go. And there you go. That is using the Logitech switch in your Logitech room system to essentially hijack the peripherals for your third party meeting and then return the system back to normal once you're done with a simple plug-in unplug. I hope this was helpful. If so, let me know in the comments. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. Please like, retweet, share, all that fun social media junk that splashes this around. Thanks for watching, and I hope we'll see you back here for the next product overview video.